Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you all a quick face of the day for the makeup look that I'm wearing. I really didn't intend on doing a face of the day, but I thought I would because I feel like doing one. Um, I am going to be in this get up three times on my channel because I am filming a marathon today. So just beware that you're going to see this makeup look and this look three different times. I just want to talk to you guys about what I did to achieve the makeup look that you see right here. Started out with a clean face and I moisturized with my Glam Glow and you all have seen this before. It is an illuminating moisturizer. It smells like candy. I love it. Then I use the Smashbox Primer Water and this is just all to prep the skin for makeup. And I use my favorite primer today. Um, this is the Tarte. Um, okay. <laughs> this is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I should be able to remember it by now, but it's such a long name, I never can say it without reading it. Today I am wearing the Born This Way Liquid Foundation, and this is in the shade Caramel. This is one of my favorite liquid foundations. I really like the coverage of this foundation. I don't have to use but a couple of pumps with my beauty blender to get full coverage. And I don't have to, I really don't have to apply concealer over those areas where I have blemishes um, or like scarring, but I will apply concealer after using this, but it really isn't as necessary as it sometimes is with other foundations. So this is one of my favorite foundations. I love it. I'm working on my second bottle of this foundation. Um, this is what I have on today. So for concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think this one is the shade Cafe, and I like to use that one to cover any blemishes or imperfections that I have because it is the closest to my foundation color. I'm also wearing the NYX Concealer. This is CW07, and I use that in this area under my eye. And I also added in the Age Rewind. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. And I applied that under my eye as well and down the center of my face. This is a little light for me. I think it's a medium is the shade. So it's a little bit light. So that's why I also use this one. But it does really brighten. So I have that on as well. To set everything, I use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder in my concealer areas. And I've talked about this many times on my channel. It has a yellow tint, so it really brightens in those areas. So if you're really going for more of a bright kind of illuminate, I don't know, if you want a bright look, then if you use like this or the Ben, ben Nye Banana Powder, you're going to achieve that a lot easier. Um, also, I have on the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the areas where I don't have concealer. For my brows today, I switched it up on you guys and I used this Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit and it really is Goof Proof. It's something with the shape of this that it's just really easy to apply to your brows. And I wanted a more bold, thick brow, so I went with this one today and I just wanted to change it up. So I used this and then I used my same products that I used to um, highlight my brow or to sculpt them out and that is a true match concealer as well as this above and beyond full coverage concealer by NYX. The true match goes underneath and then the NYX goes above because this one is the shade of my foundation. For my eyes today, for my eyes. All right, this palette is not all that beautiful anymore because it's been used, but this is the Manny MUA palette and I only filmed one makeup tutorial using this palette so I wanted to use it today. I'm wearing this as my transition shade. I put this in the crease area right below my transition shade sort of blending it together. I used this in the lower crease like right beneath this shade. I used this red shade and I also have on this on my lid and it really has like a shimmer it it shimmers it what is it called it has like two colors 
I don't know. The color changes. I can't explain it, but I like this shade. And I used this lighter shade in my inner tear duct. To create my wing today, I used my Morphe gel liner with my Sigma E06 brush. I also used this Stila pen to create my wing. And this was something I used to do all the time when I first started doing wings on my liner. And then I stopped. But this makes it easy to create the wing. So I create the wing and then I go back and fill it in with the Morphe gel liner. But this makes an easier wing. It's just another technique. This is a L'Oreal liquid liner that I went over just the lid area because it adds a little bit of shine. It really makes the liner pop. So I also use this today. For my lashes today, I'm wearing the Ardell Wispies. I heard about them here on YouTube. I think Jacqueline Hill was the person I heard mention these. She really likes them and I really wanted to try them out because it's wonderful if you can find a lash that you like that's readily available, that you don't necessarily have to order online and wait for them to come in. So you can just go to the store and pick these up. So I found these at Bed Bath & Beyond, of all places. I saw them and picked them up. And this is a deluxe pack, so there are two in here, as well as a tool to apply the lashes. I tried this and I wasn't a big fan, so I went back to my Sephora Bullseye Lash Applicator. And then there's also adhesive, and I did use this today just to kind of try out the clear again to see how I feel about it. I still like my dark, but this was okay. So I really like these lashes, really pretty. For my mascara, I used this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. I received this in a gift set that I purchased on Black Friday, and I really like this mascara. And I also used for my bottom lashes, I used this Hot and Naughty by MAC. And I talked to you guys about this during my ride or die. And it has a smaller wand, like it has um, a tiny wand, and then it also has the bigger wand. And I used it today and you can actually see my bottom lashes. So from now on, don't expect me to use anything else on my lower lashes. I probably won't, unless someone tells me some product that's a miracle worker. Because I have purchased all these different uh, mascaras for the lower lashes, trying to find something that worked better. It's like you just kinda wanted to see if you could do better. And for some reason, this is the only one, this is the only product, that I can actually get every lash. Like, I can't explain it. It's the only thing that has worked consistently for me. So I'm actually just done trying other products on my lower lashes. This one works. I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see that you can actually see my lower lashes. <sighs> and hopefully you guys can see that. You can actually see my lower lashes and they are so small but I owe it to Hot and Naughty. It did it. That's my mascara of choice from now on for my lower lashes. I love it for my top lashes too, but I can use something else for top lashes without a problem if I happen to have it. But for my bottom lashes, this wand is the only wand and this is the only product that I'm planning to use from now on. Don't hold me to that now. Every now and then I may use something else, but it's gonna be because I'm out of this or I have something that I have to use up but this is really the only thing that works for me. I also smudged some of the shades from the Manny palette underneath my waterline. And I lined my eyes today with my Morphe gel liner using a small Morphe brush. Um, and I'm not sure which brush I used. But if you just use a small liner brush... Um, you can actually use this type of gel liner to line your waterline because the Marc Jacobs liner that I love so much, I believe that that is a gel liner in a pencil form, that kind of a retractable pencil. Um, so I really like how precise the liner looks when you use gel. So you can line your waterline with a gel liner with a proper brush. For my contour today, I wore the Shade and Light, this is by Kat Von D. And I'm um, gonna see if I can flip it over here without the mirror showing. I used this darker shade. It doesn't look as dark on camera as it actually is. I used this to contour with and I mixed this one and this one to kind of highlight my areas 
um, on my nose. And I think it was just my nose, the bridge of my nose. And I really do like this contour kit is growing on me. I love my Anastasia kit, but I do like this one as well. And at first I really did it. <laughs> but today I like how my makeup turned out. And I think the last time I used it, I really liked it. So it's growing on me. I will use it more and more now that I like it better. <laughs> But um, I also used the Cover Effects Contour Brush that I got in my Beautycon box. That was the tool I used to apply this, and I really like that contour brush. That was a great item for them to add to that Beautycon box. I love it. To bronze with today, I used my NARS Bronzing Powder, and this one is in the shade Casino. So that is what I used to bronze all over my face. For blush today, I'm wearing Sunswept. This is a Blush and Brighten blush. That's what it's called. Blush and Brighten Sunswept is the shade by Laura Geller. I purchased it at Ulta. And it has a little bit of a shimmer. Um, and it's kind of a, I don't know, it's the perfect blush shade. And it may not show up. It's almost a shimmer highlight. Maybe that's why it's blush and brighten. It has a shimmer in it. And um, it shows up on your skin a little brighter than it does on my hand here. Like on my cheek, it really, on my cheek, it really shows up more so than on my hand. But really like that blush. I have a couple of blushes from Laura Geller and both of them are really nice. For highlighters today, I'm wearing this one by Becca. This is Rose Gold. This is one of their shimmering skin perfectors. And I have three highlighters from Becca because I like them that much. Well, actually, I have more than that because I bought the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop collection. So I have quite a few of their highlighters. Um, this one is a little different. It is not really a goldy or champagne-y shade. It really is like a rose gold. So it it gives you like a different kind of look. Um, I use that to highlight above my cheek area, my nose and my forehead, all of my normal places. I went back in with my champagne pop and I used the champagne pop to just kind of hit my cupid's bow as well as the tip of my nose. So I'm gonna swatch that for you too. I had a text message, so moving on. So you should be able to kind of see the champagne pop is a champagne goldy color. And this is more of a rosy pinky color. So it's a different type of highlight, but I do like it. And I want to use that today. I have both of these shades on my face today. Okay, finally for my lips today, I am wearing my chestnut lip liner. I had the chestnut lip liner on, but I kept applying the lipstick to get the desired shade I want. And I have on the Shocking Pink Rose Intense by NYX. This is a matte lipstick. And I do like NYX matte lipsticks. They have so many shades. It's unbelievable how many shades they have. Such a variety. They stay on beautifully and they're right there at Ulta, in your drugstore, in your beauty supply store. Affordable. Thank you all for joining me for today's video. I really appreciate having you all. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, leave that for me in the comment section. That way I know to add more faces of the day to my video rotation. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in this same get up. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.